Alright, hey guys, welcome back. This is C-Rock, and we are starting up again with our um, Egyptian campaign. Here I am uh, in the first battle here of the uh, campaign. We're about to be attacked at the uh, city over there by Turkey. Modern day Turkey. And here I am setting up my um, army. I'm going to go ahead and set up my navy so they can go ahead and land immediately. And we're going to go ahead and set up the uh, archers and the rest of the... Um, garrison so that they can go ahead and take out the incoming troops their army was not as big as i thought it was going to be i thought it included the navy that um the seleucids had brought on over but it's just their uh satrap that's actually attacking me so i figured i could maybe win this but uh it doesn't go as i planned <laughs> let's just say that this is a um <clears throat> this was my general unit <clears throat> for my navy and he's actually a uh, scorpion ship of some type, so I wanted to bring him on over there to go ahead and uh, have him fire his arrows at the same time or something. So now I'm going to land the rest of these ships. And now, since they have updated uh, <clears throat> Rome 2, the ships back off and row away like they did in Attila. So they won't stay there the entire time, which was kind of nice when they did stay there. That was kind of... Uh, uh, a tactic that I like to exploit. <laughs> so now they're attacking with their um, cavalry first. And I'm hitting them a bunch with my uh, archers. And uh, it looks like their general unit actually is the first unit that comes on in there with the cavalry along with the other cavalry unit. And <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and turn it, take them off at fire at will, I believe, to go ahead and stop them from hitting all my other men. They're trying to bring around troops from the end there, and they're rushing their um, their cavalry on in way ahead of everybody else. But you see, there's the big army off in the um, far left there. Yeah, and they're coming in slowly. So, as you can see, I I'm still t attacking their general right there in this part. And now they're coming around with the um, other, to flank me with the other um, horses, and the cavalry. So I'm going to go ahead and rush these uh, peasants on over to go ahead and take them on out, and then have, switch these guys to go ahead and attack the uh, cavalry there. They kind of got in amongst my uh, archers at first there, but I was able to go ahead and correct the mistake. Um, now I'm making their, uh, general unit <clears throat> waver, and I think I do end up killing that general, so that's the general that I end up killing. And now that our troops have unloaded, and they've kind of gotten a little, uh, out of control, I'm confused because of the fact that I think I ordered my, ordering my general to go ahead and move from where he was, kind of confused them, I guess, a little bit, and... They all got caught up with each other because when they went to go ahead and leave. Now that uh, the ships leave once they disembark, the troops, it appears that the um, game did not account for this and had trouble navigating the ships on in still or something. I don't know. That we're left out in the water because these guys will not move. <laughs> And I finally go ahead and order them to do something else, and now they're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and reorder them to land after I go ahead and order them to do something else. So I got sick of waiting for them to do that, and went ahead and moved my troops that were on the ground to go ahead and get them into position. And I feel like if all those would have landed when they did land and actually disembarked, maybe I would have had a more fighting chance with this battle, but oh well. <laughs> That's the computer saying, no, I don't want you to win. You know? But anyway. Um, now we are being attacked over here. And we're going to have these two units mostly hold off this entire huge army. Which is what happens. Um, I probably could have gone ahead and brought up more of these other guys over here. To uh, back them on up. But oh well. So now these boats are still stuck, and I'm 
not exactly particularly happy with them as they're continuing to uh, take their time to go ahead and disembark. Because it would have been very helpful if they did disembark. I finally think I've got that one, you know. It's like, oh, they're so close to the water, too. It's like you could, they could get out and swim ashore. Yeah. So now I'm like, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe I need to go ahead and order them to go someplace else. They just embark over here, and they do start moving over there. And I'm like, no, that's too far. That's gonna take too long. So I order them back later on. And some of them do disembark. You will see that later on. The general does the end up disembarking in the end, and I get all of them disembarked except for one ship. That's just like can't decide to disembark its own units. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> I'll try to keep the uh, language PG. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe PG-13. Alright, there'll be one F word. <laughs> Alright. Then, um, I'm using my archers to uh, fire on them. Now, as you can see, I finally got those two to go and disembark. So I was like, all right, well, maybe I can get these three here to disembark. And I'll move these infantry units that are Navy over here. And so the infantry, the Navy infantry units are nice. They all have um, the ability to throw javelins because, well, they're part of the Navy. So they all have the ability to throw javelins and... And then they can go ahead and fight hand to hand after that. And there I am encircling one of the last units from the uh, first army that was coming on, and this is their reinforcements that are just overwhelming me over here. That is not going too well, but they are. I think their general died, so I think they're. Um, at least some of them are um, wavering. And especially since uh, I believe they were quite tired when they got to me. So, still fiddling with trying to get these guys to disembark. And those guys start wavering right there. I figured I could go ahead and get them to all mass route, but it just didn't end up working out. <laughs> but we did what we could here, I thought, you know. If I had some cavalry, maybe I could go ahead and done it. Or if I maybe realized that this was an actual army coming to attack me earlier, then I could have gone ahead and built one myself. But I didn't bother to consider that. <laughs> And here we are, um, getting re-encircled ourselves over there. We're going to go ahead and bring these um, infantry units to go ahead and attack and hold off these guys so they don't go ahead and come wrap around. I'm going to throw their javelins first. I'm going to go ahead and send my general on up over here so he can pop a few of his uh, special abilities. Yeah, I won't even say anything about these two uh, wonderful boats. <laughs> And now that we're almost done with that army right there, we decided to go ahead and send the rest of the army to go ahead and attack these guys. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of a little too late. Some of them, most of them were wavering. As my uh, troops over here go ahead and hold off those guys. Send my general on up. So one of these does finally land and disembark its troops, and I have to zoom on in to make sure that it's doing it. And it, it, it you see it land, and now it's, there they go, they're disembarking. That's where I check now on the battle again. 
it's already too late. <laughs> I've completely lost everybody. So if the troops from the Navy disembarked when they did, I might have held them off a little bit more. Or at least killed more of their troops. I don't know if I would have won, but who knows. Now here we are, zoomed on in, watching these guys fight a little bit more. I do have the battle mod on. I'm going to go ahead and pop my abilities with the general. <clears throat> As I see him, there one unit trying to, uh, starting to um, waver. And these guys were very close to the uh, shore. That one boat there. Let me go ahead and see how close they are to the shore. See, they, it looks like they're preparing to unload in a different fashion. You can even see how shallow it is. You know, it's like, okay, they could stand up, guys. Come on. <laughs> Get out of the boat. <laughs> When I was playing the actual battle, I was not exactly particularly too happy about them not getting out of the boat. <laughs> also, I was laughing at it too, but... It was a mixture of laughter and anger. <laughs> so now... We're trying to cut off those other guys from wrapping around and uh, outflanking my other tr troops that are by the um, the conquering point. Well, the capture point, excuse me. That's what they're called. And we're going to throw our um, javelins at them. And we do have it on fast speed now. I figured I'd go ahead and run at a very fast speed because, well, it already looks like I'm going to lose. My uh, general is wavering. And there's not many of them, le many of that unit left. And look at the size of their army still. But they have lost, I think, both of their generals. So I did do some damage to them. You know, this wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> We go ahead and zoom on in here. They go ahead and headbutt each other, those guys. I have to imagine that hurts quite a bit because you're wearing a helmet and you're headbutting somebody else who's wearing a helmet, too. So I, I feel like that's... And these are, I want to say, Bronze Age helmets or uh, Iron Age helmets. And they, they can't... It, it can't exactly feel good when you headbutt another person with a helmet like that, you know? It's got to be jarring. <laughs> You know, I mean, I see people in movies go ahead and headbutt each other, anyways, and it still seems pretty uh, jarring, and you know, quite the uh, not exactly the best move, <laughs> in my opinion. But I don't know. They they never end up in disembarking. <laughs> yes, they just stay in their boat. And don't even contribute to the whole um, battle, as I lose it here. Everybody's um, wavering and a decisive defeat. So they end up taking out my army there, and the garrison and my uh, navy that I have put over there. And then I think they end up just sacking the city. So you see, I did kill the first general, but I didn't kill the second general from the second incoming army. And really, I just made a lot of their guys waver. You know, I didn't really kill too many of their um, actual units. So they went ahead, and now they attack me again. I don't know why they just sacked the city to begin with in the first place. Now they're going to go ahead and take the actual city. And control it. And now, 
that whole turn is going to end, and now it's uh, our turn again, or my turn again. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Cavalry Recruitment for that one thing. And then we're going to go ahead and go through all the bad news. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and check out the situation over here by um, Tyros. And my army is still continuing to suffer from attrition of whatever. I don't know why I'm suffering attrition over there. It, it beats me. Uh, both of my armies are suffering attrition. It, it, I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. But I'm going to go ahead and buy some more um, Syrian levies here to go ahead and just fill up the ranks. And we're going to go ahead and get one of the technologies, looking at one of them. I could decide between doing a military technology or a civilian technology. Um, I end up going with one of the reforms for the military. And that was like one turn. I figured that would be easy and quick to go ahead and do as opposed to the all the other five turn ones or something like that I could go back to after this. And here we are looking at all of these. Salamis. I didn't want to upgrade it if it was going to go ahead and get attacked later on. A little bit indecisive in this turn on what to do, you know, here and there. Move up my spy and go and see that the army is still there. And now we're going to go ahead and end the turn. And then it's going to go through the turn. Nothing really happens. And we see that uh, Syri or something, I think, is what the name of the um, civilization is over there. Or the fraction, I should say. In Libya. That was my sap trap. They're now bringing in an army to go ahead and attack me. Um, so this means I'm going to have to make an army over there. I send my agent to go ahead and attack him, and he does not. He fails. But I think he... I can go ahead and upgrade him now. And now we're going to go ahead and get... Yeah, now we can go ahead and upgrade him. And we're going to go ahead and get an upgrade that allows him to be more successful in his attacks because he was never successful beforehand so maybe he will be somewhat successful now and then as we can see they kind of changed the whole outline of the um, upgrades again with this new recent update because they're still updating a what six-year-old game now I don't know what this is <laughs> yes CA, the only place that will uh, continue to update your game six years after it was made. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and um, purchase some guys for this. We're going to go ahead and buy the uh, Grammatican Levies. And then we're going to go ahead and purchase all of these uh, mercenaries, which include some elephants, along with um, a wide assortment of other units. And that still keeps me within the uh, positive range for um, wealth uh, for income that I'm making next turn, which is nice. And I figured I could go ahead and maybe move him back here and then still move him forward before he ends up getting there to that city. So I could go ahead and maybe buy some more guys in the um, province over, but... I couldn't move him over there in time. And we're going to move my diplomat and use him as a spy. As soon as he gets over there, he's got a little ways to go. Um, and here I am now just checking to see what the relation is. Uh, Ser Seren Serenikia. Serenikia. Yeah, that's probably not how you pronounce that. <laughs> so, yeah, as we can see, this is not in... Uh, English. Uh, it's in the ancient names. Alright. 
I still am trading with those guys below me there, which is good news. And now we're going to go ahead and we, we're going to try and move him forward, but I guess he was paralyzed, so he couldn't move, so I just put him back in um, the protection, the uh, bar barricade stance there. So we ended our turn, and we're going on to the next turn here. They're continuing to move closer with their army. And now we have a development, uh, and I think I choose the civil development there. The military sabotage. My military has been sabotaged again, so it's continuing to be sabotaged. I'm not liking how successful their uh, agents are. It's, it's really pissing me off. And how unsuccessful my agent seems to be. It's doesn't. I don't get it. But anyway... And now I figure I might as well go ahead and move up this army to go ahead and have him um, help out in the end. But I decided to move him back because maybe I'll go ahead. He can go ahead and take it on on his own. And now we're gonna go ahead and swell the ranks more with um, mercenaries by another uh, elephant. So we'll end up using those elephants in the end to fight that army. And now I decided I'm going to go ahead and make another uh, general. I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Ptolemy an army, actually. So I think... Um, this one is Ptolemy himself. Or one of the Ptolemies. There are so many. <laughs> yeah. So we have Ptolemy the Second. That's Ptolemy the Second right there. We're going to go ahead and give him an army. With the um, Royal uh, Squadron. The Royal Squadron of a Cavalry. And we're going to go ahead and buy some um, pikemen. The, uh, yeah, just pikemen. I'm just going to say pikemen. <laughs> And now we're going to go on to the next turn. Well, oh, nope. We're going to go ahead and uh, check some things now. And now we're going to take a look at the new uh, family tree. I finally put this in the game. You know? Everybody's been asking for it for so long. <laughs> it looks nice, too. It, it, it look almost looks better, I want to say, than... Uh, Attila's family tree, but I haven't really gotten used to using it. Um, that's all for this uh, time, so I'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.